say so, though. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. What? Uh, it's... It, uh... It's two words. What do you, what do you mean? Say sup, though. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Okay, you're, you're supposed to be advanced. Um, top of the line. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Say sup. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Say something. I'd really prefer if you talk to me, Marcus. Tell me your hopes, your <gasps> dreams, where you'd like to make a dinner reservation. You said all that, but you can't say sup, though? Okay. All right. Number sup, 15. Though. Urban exploring. Hey! 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 Stop! Hold on. You want to get hit? No. What the f*** are you doing in here? This is trespassing. In this exploration footage, the unsettling thing isn't a spirit or a creature. Instead, it's a real-life threat that many don't consider when going on these adventures. A small group of explorers enter what they assume to be an abandoned building. They looked around for a while, inspecting the location and the items inside. At one point in the video, yelling can be heard in the distance as two men walk up. Run, 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 run. What the f are you doing in here? This is trespassing. Can we help you? Is that abandoned? Huh? Is that no, abandoned? this is not abandoned. Do you see the fences? Do you see the property structures around? We came in through the side, so we didn't yeah. see anything. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be coming through at all, right? All right. All right, let's walk up. The group explains that they thought the location was abandoned, to which they are told it apparently isn't. The two men basically block the group from leaving as they interrogate and intimidate them while holding what appears to be large sticks or metal pipes. Finally, the two men tell the group to leave and never come back. The strange part about this is that the building had no electricity, no signs to imply that it was private property or in function, and the group that approached them refused to explain who they were or what the building was. Additionally, the men didn't appear to be homeless or serving the role of security. They just looked like a pair of average men that were in the building for no reason. Number 14. Ice Climber Survival Whoa. Oh. I think I've seen this one. Like this video. My god. While climbing the icy terrain of Parsley Fern Left Hand Gully in February 2013, Mark Roberts faced a fall that some people can't even fathom. From hundreds of feet above the ground, Mark is knocked off the mountain by a falling mass of ice. As a result, he plummets to the ground, his GoPro documenting every second of the drop. Oh, 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 imagine. Oh my god, I can't even imagine that, yo. Like, you're in so much pain damn near every bone in your body is practically broken you 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 are in so much pain like i don't oh my god i don't like it when i'm or like me or somebody else is in pain like to the point where they might as well just be dead no like that's like that's like having third 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 six degree burns or whatever and like you're in so much pain that you can't even begin to begin to put in words how much in pain you're in like 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 uh for example i i dropped a 95 95 dumbbell on my uh on my toe all right that happened a couple of weeks ago, and maybe I don't know, maybe like a month ago, and but it wasn't a whole weight of the ninety five uh, dumbbell. It just it rolled off like a like a like a bench, and then it, like you know. But I was like, cause it hurts so much, like it might as well be broken, but it wasn't broken. So I was like, I I just don't like that. Like this guy that's falling. 
He might be paralyzed. He might have some brain damage. He might have, like, all of the above. Like, why go through all it? Oh. He's still falling, yo. When the video begins, you can literally see the chunk of ice hurling towards Mark, likely unaware of how high the block was coming from. He puts his arms up to protect his head, loses his balance and falls. At first, he is airborne, but fortunately, begins to slide along the mountain instead of falling straight down. Mark walked away from the mountain with only minor scratches, thankfully. The video provides those that have never climbed an ice-covered mountain with a first-person example of what it's like and what can go wrong. Number 13. Underground Exploration Under what? It's dark as hell in- nope, nah. It's dark as hell in there, are you serious? You got me cluck- This particular video was uploaded by Street Zips in 2015 and explores an underground tunnel system that allegedly leads to hell. The 17 minutes of footage exposed damp tunnels, dark heights, and twisting turns. It's unclear why this underground system apparently leads to hell, or exactly what the system is for. Oh, why did that scare me? Some words on the wall scared me, are you serious? It certainly gives an unsettling and unique adventure to the audience though. If you don't like small spaces, this content will certainly bother you. Number 12, Haunted House Exploration. <laughs> when it comes to exploration footage, the more unsettling the better. This video shows a tour of an allegedly haunted house that has been abandoned. For the most part, the footage is just unsettling because of the location. However, around the 5 minutes 53 second mark, a figure can apparently be seen by a door as the team enters the room. The only good part about this, this, uh, this video right here is that the only good part. I mean, they all clucking up, but, like, they're in a group. That's all I'm saying. It's like, I don't know, four or five of them instead of, like, like just one person. But, uh, yeah, we can. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we can agree that uh, they're all fucked. They're all clucking up. There we go. Yeah. But... I guarantee you, none of them have Adidas on. Just saying. It is completely up to the viewer to decide what is seen in the clip, but the footage is still unique and entertaining in itself. It's not, this is not unique. Like, oh, what was that? Number 11, Great White. <laughs> Came this video out of was posted to the GoPro YouTube channel as part of their awards category and it shows rare footage of a great white shark while diving and possibly hunting in the deep sea off the coast of South Africa. Johan Pogriter came face to face with the underwater beast. God, dog. The shark was like, oh my god. Great whites uh. weigh between 1,500 and 2,400 pounds, can be up to 21 feet long, and swim at a maximum of 25 miles per hour. So aside from the sheer wonder of stumbling upon this underwater predator, there's also a slim threat posed to a human that comes in contact with them. While this brave diver does come close to the great white, he isn't attacked and leaves the water unharmed. This video does give marvelous footage and cinematic shots of the sea creature though. Footage that might cause some to look away or even squirm. No Yo, if I was <laughs> if I was a shark, I would have been like <laughs> If I did exactly what what he did, 
Like, <laughs> I would have been like, hey, you good, bro? I right, was just checking on you. I just ate. But, uh, yeah, I'm full as hell. You, gonna, you don't got to worry about nothing. So, yeah, you good. You straight. Just making sure you good. All right? Peace out. I'm out. Pretend. <laughs> unknown creature. Oh, oh, what the fuck is that? This video, which surprisingly only has around 80 views, allegedly shows proof of a mysterious dog-monkey hybrid posted oh. by Bexon Production. Oh, what? An amateur cyclist was filming a bike ride with his GoPro on a small path near his home. Things are normal at first as he travels down the narrow path. Eventually, he crosses a bridge and travels the path between two cement walls. Just as he approaches this point, what an animal it? jumps down from a tree and is nearly struck by the bike. Slow down, slow down. In the description, the cyclist explains that he saw the creature in the tree before it jumped down, so he was able to avoid directly hitting it. A strange noise, similar to a croaking frog, is heard when the animal hits the ground. It's unclear if the animal made this noise, or if it was a result of the bike swerving though. When the footage is slowed down, the animal does resemble a monkey, but it seems too large, gray, and almost hairless. What? Number 9. Motorcycle Fall it happens in a heartbeat. Keep your eyes on this motorcyclist who goes full speed over a cliff. In slow motion, you can see he actually slams into the top of a tree. Officially uploaded by Inside Edition in 2017, the short footage shows a motorcycle rider falling off a cliff. The rider wearing the GoPro was a few feet behind two fellow riders and friends as they traveled quickly down a highway strip. The two-lane road, which seems to wrap around a mountain, shows the rider going too fast around a curve in the road, unable to slow down in time or effectively shift his direction. He ultimately shoots straight forward and flies over the road railing. After flying off the road, the remaining riders stop and immediately head down to search for their friend. Thankfully, they found the rider lying in a bush. Willie. What David found stop was a miracle. Willie was alive. Just don't move, okay? He was conscious, but stunned. My back tire, like, slipped. Uh-huh. And it made me slide forward. And then I couldn't control the bike. David stayed by his friend, who explained that his tire slipped until help arrived. He was thankfully conscious, and though he was shaken up, was overall coherent. Number eight. Hey, uh, Mike, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay with you. I'm, I'm gonna stay here with you, make sure you, you know, you good, and make sure, you know, like, like you straight, like, you can get back on your motorcycle um, in, like, the next, like, five minutes or so, so I'm gonna let you breathe. I'm gonna stay here with you, right? Because that was that was that was, that was like a, a that was like a, that was a big fall, that was that's, that you look like you hurting. So I'm gonna stay right here with you because I'm a good friend. But if like a if like a if like a deer or or kangaroo, bear, uh, lion, uh, uh, vicious saber tooth tiger come out, I'm I'm hauling. Um, ju I'm just letting you know that. So, yeah, anything, any, anything out of the ordinary comes out, I'm, I'm, I'm running. Just, just saying, uh, yeah. So, you know, I love you, but that, you know, things happen. So, yeah, cool, cool. Zip line fall. Oh, what? Um. A zipline fall? I wouldn't even do it. Man. With a GoPro adorning his helmet, this zipper is wearing all necessary safety equipment you sure? and is seated on a small wooden set that accompanies the zipline. His original speed isn't included in the clip, but he eventually comes across a serious obstacle. In the middle of the line, there seems to be a large knot. 
or fray in the cable that makes it impossible for the zipper's carabiner to pass over the lump. After several moments of struggle, the zipper decides that his best bet is to detach himself from the system and plummet to the ground. <sighs> Luckily, he has a parachute to save him on the way down. Still, the overall struggle, possible malfunctions, and sheer height presented makes for thrilling yet unsettling footage. Number 7. Inside Footage I, I think, whoa, What the hell? In this video, uploaded by Mr. Ben Brown in March 2016, several GoPro cameras are fastened in the car. Four friends fill the car with Ben Brown in the passenger seat. While driving through an intersection, the car is unexpectedly struck from the passenger side. The vehicle jolts to the left. Several airbags deploy and the group is stunned. Oh my god! I can't Holy shit. Are you guys alright? Is everyone okay? Oh, whoa, oh, that- This perspective that... is rarely, if ever, caught from the inside of a car and provides immediate reactions as well as a few seconds before the hit, in which the driver attempts to swerve out of the way. Additional dash cam footage that was later obtained from a car behind the incident shows the outside view of what happened. No one was hurt, and neither vehicle was badly damaged. Number 6. Train Surfing While well, no one should attempt it, some consider themselves professionals, This video was filmed in Vienna, Austria by Sky Joker. It begins with Sky Joker grabbing onto the back of a stop train and tracks his high speed travel, passing several stations and scenic routes. The video was likely cut down to make for a more viewable upload, but it's clear that Sky was on the back of the train for a lengthy amount of time at various stops. Sky jumps off the train and either gets back on before it continues or gets onto other trains. The 22 year old thrill seeker warns that no one should try this as it is very risky. Number 5. You. Um. You. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm a nice person. Uh, I'm a very lovable person. Uh, but it's, it's hard, you know, when people be doing some really dumb things, some really stupid things. Like, you gotta be... <clears throat> I don't know how to say this, but I'm gonna just flat out and, and say it because I'm a really blunt person. But you all know me. You all know that I mean no disrespect. You all, you all know that I mean no harm. But... Man, you gotta be an idiot, or you gotta you gotta like not really care about your life that much, or or at all, to be on the back or, or any part of the terrain on the outside of the terrain without no protection, and you just hanging, you just hanging, like really, like really, for real, is that what we doing? Is that is that what we doing? We we hanging on the back of trains. Really? Going going God knows how fast. We hang on on, on the back of trains. That's what we doing. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. Not cool. At all. That's please don't be out here doing that. Please don't. Don't. Come on. I don't I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need for none of my fans to come back tweeting me, Snapchatting me, DMing me, right? Making making a comment on one of my videos saying, "Hey, I was hanging on the back of a on the back of a train at 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 full speed." You know, I decided, hey, I'm a I'm a let go for point zero 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 one second. Oh, I felt bad. 
and I snapped all my stuff up. Don't be doing that. Please don't. God, dog. What, what, what do people be thinking sometimes? Like, for real. You, for real. One slip up? One, one, one move to the left or to the right or wherever? And it's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Bear chase. What? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. You playing. You going slow as hell. An anonymous bike rider was traveling down a path alone as his GoPro documented his travel. Just after taking off on the path, the rider spots a large brown bear to his right. The animal begins to charge towards him from a bundle of trees. As the rider picks up speed, the bear starts to chase him from behind. Several shots, thanks to the rider glancing back, shows the massive creature coming towards him. Run! Like, not. It's clear that this person is panicked as he breathes heavily and tries to outrun the predator. Eventually, the cyclist comes across a large branch in the middle of the trail and he seems as though he abandons his bike and starts to run away on foot. Wow, you couldn't just, it wasn't, that was a small, that was a small little, that was a stick. That was a little, like a little twig. You can, you playing. After a moment, he comes to a stop and hides in a wooded area. The bear is not spotted again and the frazzled human continues to exit the forest. Number four. Jellyfish encounter. Jellyfish, commonly Who else thought about Finding Nemo? Just saying, hashtag Finding Nemo in the comment section below because when I seen that, all them jelly. God, I didn't realize it's a lot of goddamn jellyfish. <laughs> oh my god, you are clucked. is jellies come in a wide variety of species some are lethal some are harmless oh. and some can hurt you but not do extensive damage this video was captured underwater with the help of a gopro and shares a swimmer's encounter with a rhizostoma pomo jelly in this video the swimmer skillfully avoids the tentacles of the jelly and thus avoids a sting the footage is still one of a kind. Number three, shark footage. This video, filmed in late 2013, shows what it's like to be chased and eaten by a shark. Crewmen oh. of a sport fishing boat, known as the Pumpkin Heart, attach trail bait and a GoPro to their vessel to capture this thrilling footage. A Mako shark began to chase the bait and boat. Mako sharks can swim up to 22 miles per hour and way over a time, what begins as just a dark spot in the water eventually becomes a massive beast approaching the camera while glaring its teeth. The shark quickly snaps off several of the bait fish, dips out of the scene, and eventually creeps back in for more. To date, the video has over 3 million views and is considered to be one of the best amateur shark videos ever captured. Number two, train dodging. Much like the sport of train what? surfing, train dodging involves thrill seekers purposefully standing in the path of a fast approaching train to jump out of the way in the nick of time. Train dodging is usually performed in rail stations or tunnels. In this case, a large group of people enter a dark tunnel to practice their sport. The fast paced footage shows the group exploring the tunnel standing on the railways and jumping to safety. Thanks to GoPro equipment, the video also shows footage of Dodgers standing against the tunnel wall only a few inches from the train as it passes, a perspective that isn't always easy to capture once the person has jumped to safety. The risks of this act are blatant, 
and many question why anyone would put themselves in this situation. With over 13,000 views on this video alone though, it's obvious that some enjoy watching this dangerous thrill. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like- Uh, peep, um... <sighs> Is it, is it, is it, is it, um, is it mean for me to say, because I'm not a mean, I'm not a mean person, you know, uh, so you, you are, you, you all already know this. I'm not, I am not a mean person. I am a very loving and caring person. But when somebody does something stupid, I gotta call you out on it, play. I'm a very blunt person and I try to, I try to say things. In the most nicest, respectable way. But. For the people. That be messing with trains. That be risking their own. Lives with trains. I, um, <clears throat> are you stupid? Yeah, I do, I do know trains. Don't just stop. They don't just stop like that. I don't know how fast trains be going, but they be going pretty damn fast. And trains don't be stopping like that. I don't know any vehicle, any anything that has like wheels on it, engines that be that that can go full speed or almost full speed and stop right dead in the tracks. I don't know anything that does, that, especially not no trains, because a train when it stops. You, you get to, you put the brake. I don't know how trains work, but you you get the brake, you put the brakes on, and then it 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 keeps going, but the wheels stop. But the train keeps going. It doesn't just stop. That be that would be nice, but I feel like everybody in the goddamn in the in the in the, in the train will have whiplash. They be snap the hell. They be snapping everything up. If a train just stopped on impact, like right dead, like stopped right dead in its tracks. Trains, that's not how trains work. You get the brake, and then it slides. It keeps going. The, the wheels stop, but the train keeps going. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't mean no harm. I don't, I don't mean nothing, I, I don't want to be mean, but like, you, you got to call the people out that be doing some stupid things. You can't be letting that slide. Like, come on, bro. Like, you, you got to do better than that, man. Come on now. Like. In real life. Then follow me on Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash chills narrator and the link is in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you this way you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every tuesday and saturday if english isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out click more then add translations by translating the video not only will more people be able to watch it but a link to your channel will be added in the description Number one, Divers Final Hours. Lost at sea, a man cool as could be records what he believes are his last moments on this planet. So that's it. Jacob Childs is a popular diver that provided fans with magnificent underwater footage with the aid of his GoPro. In this video, 
which was later uploaded by Inside Edition. Jake is recording what he believes are his final hours alive. While diving off the coast, he was suddenly swept away by a current, and when he finally emerged, he found that the dive boat had abandoned him. He swam for several hours, lost and exhausted. Wow. Knowing the dangers of the ocean, especially alone at night, he decided to pull out his GoPro and record some final messages for his family. Just when night has fallen and he thinks the end is near, a search plane suddenly appears overhead. The plane's coming back. Oh, plane enough to come back. He explains the situation and shows that the sun is quickly setting. Before he shares his goodbyes, Jacob was fortunately saved and later explained that his wetsuit and emergency device were what saved him in the end. Despite floating for about six hours, Jake also says that his ability to stay calm and not panic was an important factor in his survival. This proves that when diving or performing any dangerous sport, the proper equipment is absolutely necessary. Not only did Jake make it to safety, he was able to document several hours of footage to share his experience and advise fellow divers of the correct procedures in this situation. Though the video is heart-wrenching, sharing it is vital for education. Wait, don't leave yet. I have something to show you. We made this top 15 list a little while ago and I think you're really gonna like it. Check it out and tell me what you think. I saw nothing but a black screen. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, this is pretty. <laughs> yeah, that that's uh it's not really much for me to say. Yeah. Uh, uh you know it's why? I wonder if I can ask Siri why. Why are some. No. Why are some people stupid? No. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna add it. Why are some people stupid? Okay, I found this on the web for why are some people stupid. <laughs> the way she said it. Um, look, man. If if you know somebody, you got a family member, you got associates, friends, acquaintances, uh, people that you see. Like every now and then in your neighborhood or at the gym or gas station, school, got some classmates, whatever. You know, you go to church or whatever. You see them doing some less smart things, let them know, please. And... If you're with that person that's about to do that less smart thing, you two you got you got two options. Right? Say saying you're 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 with your friend Adam, right? Don't it throwing it out there. And uh he's uh doing something less smart, something stupid. All right, and uh, this is this is where you have two 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 things you can do. Two things, you can either a let him know what he's doing or what he's about to do. It's crazy, stupid, and it's it's crazy, and let him know don't do it at all because. You're about to, he you're you're about to get clucked up and you're about to get me clucked up. I don't I don't want that. All right. Or the other option is 
Let Adam do it. Let your friend or whoever you're with at the moment do it. And you not say nothing. And you you just kick it. You haul, you haul it. The, uh, the opposite direction. That's it. He's right here. Right? He's about to do. He's about to jump in a in a pool with the killer jellyfish. Right? Meanwhile, you're like right here. You see him about to do it. You can either say, hey, stop. Don't do it. That's stupid. Don't do it. And you can save both of you all. Or you can be like, Oh, 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 no, yeah, oh, there it is, and just run, uh, run uh, the opposite, the opposite way, you know, that's it, uh, what I would do, um, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, uh, I'm more leaning towards just saving myself, but I, that's just me, you know. But uh, yeah, what would you do in a situation like that? Would you do? Would you be? Would you do A or would you do B? Would you do A? Would you do B? Would you do A? Would you do B? Would you do A? Would you do B? Let me know A or B. Would you let the person that you're with? Would you would you let them know that they're about to do something stupid and save both of you all? Or would you be like, not say nothing and just save yourself? A or B? Let me know. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.